Welcome, welcome to my channel. This is Clarity Empress, the Empress of Clarity. Coming to do another general collective energy reading for you. And I am taking this from my just, I just did a TikTok video. So I'm going to recap. We have somebody who doesn't want to be a fool anymore. I think, I felt like they made a choice that made them feel foolish in the past energy. The current energy is they choose you. Now they want to move on to you and the hidden energy they want to come back with just the chariot card the challenge is uh justice they gotta not only can they come oh no nah, i'm not gonna say they can come back because that's a choice you make but not only do they want to come back but they know they have to come back with justice they have to come back honest they have to come back changed they cannot come back in the same energy that they left you in right or that you broke up in the six of wands is here. They want a victory. The overall income, income, mm -hmm. the overall message, I should say, the likely outcome is that they want a victory with you. They may be anticipating a victory or they may be desiring a victory heavily. I think it's more of the latter. Um, overall energy is that you guys are in three source energy. So I'm going to clarify and we want to expand on this reading. Spirit, tell me more. Why do they feel like a fool for the past energy? What about the past makes them feel foolish? And whoever, your, your person has a lot to say because honestly, every time I go to shuffle, lots of cards want to come out at once. You know, when they get stuck together, I'm thinking they're, it's feeling like more stagnant energy, more stuck. But this is telling me that the person, when they have the opportunity, they have a lot to tell you. Tell me more. Yeah, three of cups. So they felt stupid. I'm going to use that word, but I don't really like using that word, but that's what came out. So we're going to go with that. You feel, your person felt felt foolish or stupid for uh, having you in a third party situation. I don't know. They thought that they could manage this in the past, or maybe they thought they could. I don't know. I don't know if it's a cheat on you situation. It could be simply they work too much put their family first, you know, meaning like relatives first or uh, friends, you know. Um, it's interesting. I'm coming across a lot of women saying that they experience a lot of men who really don't like women. So they're attracted to women, but they don't like women. So they rather be with their friends, but not be with the woman. I feel like if this was that kind of situation, they're now changing their mind because they took you for granted or they lost you or something like that. But the lover's card is here. So it's just telling me in the current energy, they're making a choice and they're choosing you. Tell me more, Spirit. Yeah. Oh, wow. Not only do they choose you, but they stand on that. With the Emperor, it's like the confidence. The This person is sure. This, this is what I want now. So maybe in the past, they might have been unsure or they might have been, like I said, distracted by third party energy. But now they like, no, I made a choice and I know what my choice is. Right. So let me tell, tell me more about this chariot. Spirit, tell me more. It's like they don't want you to doubt them now. It's like they matured or they manned up. And it has a lot to do with the fact that you moved on. Tell me more about the chariot spirit. Yeah. Um. I get this two ways instantly. Instantly, Spirit gave me two ways. You release them, and then they decided to start releasing the third party energy, the baggage that they carry, or the, the situation that they carry. It could be a lover. Whatever it was, you move forward and it got released. So you released it, and so did they. It's kind of like, you know, just think of a kid who had two lollipops in their hand, and they tried to hold on to one more. And you said, oh, well, you already got one in your hand. Actually, you got one in each hand, right? So you don't need mine. And you took that option back. And they're like, but, why? but one of these flavors, I don't really like that bad. I want yours. And you you dropped it. All right, let me pause. All right, sorry about that, y'all. So, yeah. Let me clarify the justice.
somebody is being defensive with you. They want to now release all the burdens. And I feel like your person feels like they're running out of time. Yeah. I feel like they feel like time <laughs> is of the essence. And they have to release this third party situation. But I also feel like your person had been um, standoffish. Um, they also know that your boundaries are something that they can't just cross. I feel like you, with this justice card, you put up your boundaries so that they couldn't disrespect anymore. I think you just, well, like I said, you release some of this. You release them. Now they want to release their situation, but you put up your boundaries. And they know that that's because this is the challenge in the, in the lesson position. So for them, they know that boundaries are a problem. Okay. Sorry about that. I don't like pulling out too many cards one at a time. So Now the victory. What is that about? I feel like they want your attention. That's for sure. But we got the six and the seven of wands. So this is interesting. Tell me more. Story. One at a time. Oh. Whew. Your person. Bottom of the deck. Yes. Your person feels like the victory would be to stay attached to you to not let you go to not release you this person is very very attached to your energy um they want to win with you i feel like they realized with this full energy and the previous energy and that third party that they were losing and i feel like they were losing everything especially with this ten of wands in reverse i feel like they were losing a lot Staying connected to that third party. Now, they've matured enough to know exactly what they want. But it had a lot to do with you moving on. You choosing you over them. You putting up boundaries with them. Now they want to cross those boundaries. And also, y'all, I feel like your person is this king of swords energy too. And I feel like they're making a head over heart decision with the three of swords. I don't feel like your your. I think this separation is doing a number on your person. They might have made head over heart decisions before, but I don't think they felt like this. Um, I got a feeling that your person may not be the most emotionally available individual, so they tend to make head over heart decisions because they feel. Maybe they felt with the third party obligated. Um, they may have felt that they were responsible for that third party. But then they realized that was be that was foolish because they weren't choosing their heart. It wasn't choosing them. Um, your person um, feels burdened and, and is ready to release their burdens. I, I feel like they're going to break somebody's heart. Um Honestly, I feel like they, they are ready to break somebody's heart. I think they don't care anymore. Maybe whatever this person did to them in the past energy, uh, they're ready to release it. <clears throat> I think they're ready to release it. Let's clarify with the Twin Flame Journal Oracle. Where, why did this? This person feel foolish. Oh, nope, that's too many. I'll start again. Why did this person feel foolish for being in a three of cups situation? Whoa. Oh, your person. <laughs> you know, if they were in another relationship, that person may have released your person. And that's why they feel foolish. That person might have been lured away from you. Only to get released by the other person. There are people in the world like that. They will. They don't want the person, but because that your person wants you, they want them. And then when they got them, they don't want them no more. Cause now they got them. You know, there's some people that just play that game, like 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 an animal with prey. You know, like they say cats like to pe play with mice and other bugs and things like that because they like to wear them out. That way, there's no danger when they go in for the kill. 
And sometimes people are like that. And then they'll turn around and release you and leave you broken hearted just because they can. Tell me more. But, uh, it, but ultimately, your person, going back to this fool, they do not want to be with that third party anymore. And they're releasing it. And I feel like they're releasing it over you. So there may have been some heartbreak associated, some disappointment associated with it. No matter who instigated the disappointment and the heartbreak, ultimately they're making a different choice. Tell me more, Spirit. Yep. I'm telling you, they heart, when you chose yourself over this person, it tore them up. Now, whether they show it, whether you can tell or not tell, it tore them up. It tore them up. And, and tell me more, Spirit. I feel like it ripped their heart in shreds. But I feel like they did it to themselves. So that I, I, I don't, I don't put the blame on you. I feel like they did it to themselves. The choices they made did that to themselves. So they're currently in heartbreak right now. Not because they chose you, it's because they chose you too late, right? You moved on. So now they got to work. Now they got to put in effort to get back with you. And they don't know if it's going to work. Tell me more, Spirit. One card. Well, why is this upside down? We don't, we don't try to do that. <sighs> yeah. Now, your person is focused with you. Okay, you got horses in here. That's three horses. Your 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 person has changed their whole focus. So wherever they were, their mind was with this third party, they released that. They have let that go because it it's currently this separation is tearing them up, and now they refocus it. Now they like releasing baggage. Now they're letting go of things, you know. And I don't let that. I don't think they're letting go of the slights that they may have been impacted by that third party situation. I feel like just letting it go. Whatever they anticipated or expected it to be, that's what they're letting it go. And they refocus their energy on you. But I'm a little concerned, and I'll tell you why in a sec. Tell me more, Spirit. Yeah, that's why. That is why. I'm a little concerned. You see the observer here. I was a little concerned because the devil is also here, right? And the devil came out first, is likely outcome. I feel like your person is energetically attached and stalking you, right? I feel like they tr energetically trespass in your energy, right? You put up a boundary, you call justice on them, and they still watch it. So this person, if you have social media, is watching your social media. If, if they can drive by your house, or where, you, where they think you live, they're going by there. If they could talk to people they think know you, they can get any hint on what's going on with you. They're doing it. If they're strong psychically, they're doing it. If they can pay a reader to read you, they're doing it. This person is watching you by any means that they can. And they are still energy energetically attached, very strongly attached to you. You know, um, I feel like your person doesn't see, especially with this emperor card, I feel like they don't see any other way. So even if they have options, even if there's other people involved in their life or available to them, they only are focused on you. Um, I don't think they see another way, right? Even if you do, even if you're like, no, I'll let that go. Clarity, I'm not doing that no more. They're like, uh-huh. I only see you. This this reading is very specific. This reading is very um like it's a small number of people that this will apply to. You know, everybody's situation is different. But when somebody is focused on you in the back end and watching you and carrying on like that, because you have boundaries and you put up for justice and they over here in this devil energy wanting a victory, this person has tunnel vision. And this is the kind of energy that I, I got another feeling. I ain't going to say it to the car. Come out. Tell me more, Spirit. Okay. So what I was going to say, but I'll take this for sure. That this is the type of person that when they 
actually come forward, it will catch you by surprise. Even if you feel them, even if you feel like you know, this is the kind of energy that's going to be like, and when they come back, they're going to feel like, oh, I, I, I learned my lesson. You know, I learned my lessons now. I get it. I got what you were saying. Um, they may cross your boundaries trying to talk to you about what their lessons are, especially with this devil card. I feel like they're going to be very insistent. I also feel like even if you say no, they're going to want to show you. And I don't know if that's going to be consistent, um, but I feel like your person is maturing and they want a chance badly. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, they want to make, they're going to make communication. This King of Swords has got a lot to say to you. He's he got a lot to show and tell. You know, remember that in school when we used to bring things to school and tell, show our teacher and we got that opportunity to stand in front of the class and tell everybody what we learned and what we have. Oh, I hear today I brought my bunny rabbit in. He eats three times a day. And when we feed him, we give him blah, 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 blah. I feel like your person is not going to shut up. When they finally get a chance to speak to you. I feel like. Especially with this book and lessons. They, they gonna come. <laughs> with a book of shit to tell you. Right. It's gonna be like one of the people that's just like. What was all this talking before? You wasn't sharing your emotions. Or you would give me a little hint of emotion. Now you got all this to say. But this heartache. That they're gonna experience. Or they're currently. I feel like this is a current situation. This is not. Uh, future faking type deal. This is what they are experiencing. It's really going to, um, I feel like this is literally going to change this person. This is not somebody I feel like um, in this particular reading, I, and I have to stress that because, you know, the energies can be similar with different types of people and some people can not change and still be wishy-washy. But I'm getting the energy that this person's lesson of losing you was very painful. And they can't um, imagine a world without you. Wow. Tell me my spirit. Tell me why release. Forward and reverse three cups. Oh, yeah. So they release in the lie. They used to lie a lot. This person was very sneaky. Fox is here. Very smart, but still very sneaky. Um, this person, if they could run a mile and you let them, they'll take that mile. Matter of fact, they'll go five. This person may have been sneaky due to how they had to just survive. You know, a fox, you know, typically will kill something to eat to survive, right? Um, sometimes I'm sure they kill for sport, but for the most part, they want to eat something. They want to survive in the wilderness, right? They're wild animals. And I feel like this person was very cunning because this is how they had to survive. I feel like they're releasing their energy or the need to do that. Spirit said they might be releasing that energy, but that third party not may not be releasing them, depending on what that is. Tell me more, Spirit. Yep. They had, they had, this is also part of the lesson was they had to go through something. I feel like your person is still going through something, um, trying to get to you. If you notice this card, you see this individual here in under the trellis, your person might be here, but they bypassing other people with the intention to get here to you. And through that, it's like a slower process than maybe you would have wanted because you would think if I if you care about me, then just end the situation, right? Just stop doing that behavior or stop going there or stop being somewhere that's not where we're supposed to be, right? But this person has had a lot of people distracting them and confusing them. Tell me more, Spirit. Yeah, they had to go deep. They've been digging real deep to release this baggage that they have, um, to refocus their mind. Like they've been going, I feel like your person's been doing a whole lot of shadow work, even if they don't know that's what they're doing. I feel like this person has been like 
realizing where they're low vibrational at and then looking at something different. You know what I mean? Maybe they realized porno is no good for them. So they turned off by certain things. And maybe they were drinking too much and then realized now they're turned off by that. They got to refocus their energy. Because I'm not getting somebody sinking into despair. I'm getting somebody that's going through a change and they're watching you. And I feel like it's a lot to do with your light. Especially look at this light in lessons. I, I said that and then realized it was a big light. I feel like you are the bright light. You are their star. Look at that seven. I'm sorry. Look at the uh not seven of wands, six of wands. You are the star. Yep. They are focused on love. They're focused on you. They're focused on their choice. I can't make it up. Tell me more about lessons. What did they learn? What's the likely outcome, spirit? Yeah. They realize how lucky you are to them. I feel like life is not the same without you. I feel like, you know, it's like, like it's just like this time right now with spring starts to come the weather starts to warm up plants start to grow i feel like this person realized just how lucky they were to have you and now they're ready to cut out anything in their life that's not benefiting them and then harvest what they want they're going to cut out everything else and keep you this is like you know the uh farming the chaff you, you scythe the chaff from the wheat right that's just the stalks and get rid of the stalks and anything that doesn't you know that's not edible now this person is harvesting the love they want to come back and harvest the love from you they want to come back and could give you communication maybe you were asking for communication in the past and that's the lesson they weren't communicating their feelings but again i feel like your person especially with the emperor and the king of swords energy was a very emotionally um unavailable individual and i feel like they didn't expect to be emotional even over you and then you release them <laughs> and then they got into their feelings because all of other people are a distraction for them. They have very unhealthy connections with people in their um, immediate surroundings. You know, people that probably play a lot of mind games and misdirect them and, and misguide them and things that they should be helping them. And this person is trying to overcome a lot of mental games. Um, where's my what are they here? Okay. Yeah, their person is dealing with a lot of people that play games. A lot of mental games. Oops. Sorry about that. So now they want to cut the games out. Now they want to take all the good parts. Because they realize they have so much good in you. Look, look at the lessons that they learn. This person, I'm telling you, this person is attached to you. And I feel like right now they're being a bit silent because you put up your boundaries. You call justice on them. Your person could also be having some legal trouble with justice. That could be the challenge and the lesson. Um, but they're watching you shine. They're watching you go and grow. Spirit, give me some uh, moon phases on this. Tell me more. Listen, the new moon is currently in Aries, like right now, today, this day, in real life, right? And it says time to take action. So your person is aware that now is the time to act. Now is the time to make a move. So expect to hear something, some sort of communication from your person, some sort of change, something significant. Um, they have to take action in a way that they've never done before. This is not going to be somebody who calls, who texts you what you doing um you know how you been or you know something plain they might test the waters but i feel like if you give them an inch they're gonna take a mile meaning if they do come at you with the what you're doing or wyd and you respond what do you mean they're gonna be like oh i was just wondering blah blah blah, blah. can i take you out da, 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 da. i feel like they're gonna jump in there like this is now this is, they gave me attention so i'm gonna take it so now you got to decide if you're going to give them any attention because, you know, no one wants to be somebody's option. No one wants to be the second choice, even if the first choice was stupid. No one wants to be an option. However, when you love somebody, 
not only is it breaking your heart, the separation is breaking their heart. Like, but it's, it's vice versa. So you got to decide what kind of effort or level of effort will you accept from this person if, because you love them, you do want to take them back, right? Tell me more, spirit. It says, end of a tough cycle approaches for Moon and Capricorn. So, yeah. So, this was not a, this was not an easy transit that you guys are experienced or have experienced you know this was not easy to mitigate with each other you know um you learned a lot about yourself they learned a lot about themselves i feel like they learned way more than they bargained for and you may have as well i mean i feel like if this is a twin flame or a um, higher level soulmate journey it's like that's when you start to see things in a person and you have that mirror experience that you realize that you don't like about yourself and you don't want to deal with anymore. It's not that you're doing anything wrong, but when you accept certain things from people and they hurt you and, and then they re-hurt you, it starts to help you. Like if you're paying attention to your own actions, you start to dig a little deeper as to why am I, can I, why do I allow this person to impact me in that way? What about them? Is this familiar that I'm accepting something that does not feel well? And a lot of times we can relate that back to our childhood. Mm. Yeah, emotions are running high. This <laughs> Between the two of y'all, the emotions are very high. You could have distanced yourself and detached a lot from it, which I feel like you possibly did when you refocused. But I feel like this person's um, energy is different. And I feel like they, as you shift, they feel a shift. And they're getting, I feel like they're getting really anxious, you know, not anxiety, but anxious to make communication and make it work. Because they they are mentally, emotionally invested in a victory with you. Tell me more, Spirit. Expect a powerful change. Sheesh, new moon eclipse. Wow. So, Spirit is saying some stuff. All we got is time to take action. End of a tough cycle. Emotions running high. Expect a powerful change. Something is changing with your person, like a, in a dramatic fashion. Like, I don't feel like this is a, there's too many cards. I don't feel like this is um. I feel like they really did learn lessons, y'all. I feel like they really did mature. This is not somebody coming back to you with the 52 fake out, like trying to see if they can get you only to keep doing the same thing. I'm not getting that kind of energy. And trust me, I've gotten that before, you know, I've experienced it in real life, but I've gotten that before in the card. I don't, I'm not getting that right now. Like Spirit is saying, y'all are on the brink. I'm telling you. If, like I said, if you give them an inch, they're going to take 20 miles directly towards you. What's the bottom of the deck? Confidence is your key. I feel like your person is working on your, on their confidence. As you are working on yours, I feel like you're more sure of yourself. You're more sure of what you will take, what you won't take. Uh, <clears throat> I also feel like you can feel this person changing, like in a deep knowing, unexplainable to the naked eye way. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like you know something is happening. You know that they're impacted and you are also impacted in how this plays out for you. Because it says, Spirit says, uh, you're very close. Expect a power of change. Mushroom. So everything is leading toward high energy, high explosive change. Um, I think that you would be um, surprised. Delightfully surprised, but probably cautiously optimistic, right? But I feel like you will be surprised by the profound change that your person is experiencing right now. And with the new moon in Aries, and it's saying time to take action. I'm going to read what the author of this card is saying. All these cards are really like laying it out, but I feel like <clears throat> we are at a time right now, Chiron is in Aries. And with Chiron, Chiron, I don't know how the astrologers say it. I just know how I read it, right? With that being the case, Chiron is, is about that wound and healing. How to heal that wound. I have my Chiron is in Aries from birth, from my birth chart, right? And when I read about that, it was saying that 
Chirons and Aries people typically have um, gone through so much that they they persevere in a way that they can literally just be freshly cut and still keep going. And I do feel like in my generation, we do come from, I do come from those people. I do come from people who um, we don't know when to quit. You know what I mean? We just keep going. We're strong, very strong individuals. Um, you know, my school, the the my high school, they called us the warriors, you know. Yeah, yeah, your school has a name, whatever. And we pride ourselves in that because we are so tenacious, so strong individuals. And that's a cheer on and Aries type of thing. You know, like you just keep going. All right, so let me see. New moon in Aries says it's time to take action. A flame is lit. A wonderful new start beckons and you are on the right track. Drawing this card is a super, superbly positive sign if there is something you want to happen in your life. Take this card as a big yes from the universe. This is, this is the time to really tune into your dreams. You may still have a long way to go. After all, Aries is the first sign of the zodiac, but you're on your way. Determination, self-assertion, um, bravery are called for, but the hot fire of Aries is driving you towards success in whatever endeavor you are think asking about. The caution: don't go too fast and forget your manners. Treat people as well as you charge. Treat people well as you charge toward your goals. You'll create much better karma for yourself. It says, don't even think about giving up. Do your best and be happy with that. Avoid being brash right now. You need a twelve-month plan. A new male is coming into your life. So, um, it's a, it says the right time to start no matter when you do it. It's the ideal time to start your moon work as such a setting intention. So, I did a quick TikTok yesterday about the summer, uh, spring equinox. And this is the time where, you know, they the, the, the time of day and night equal each other, right? But it's a time of manifestation. It's a time to journal. It's a time to set your intention. It's a time to believe in yourself. It's a time to set those goals. This is like the real new year for many people, right? Some people don't believe January 1st is the new year. This is the new year. This is when fresh flowers grow in the Northern Hemisphere over here. Um, this is when, you know, life springs back. You know, all the deadness from the fall is incorporated back into the earth depending on what you cultivate but you know bottom line it's time to start it's not time to sit and wait for something to happen it's time to make it happen it's time to let go of fears of i don't know should i could i would i no it's time to take the action necessary to make something go your person is realizing this right now because they're sitting in massive heartbreak over the decisions that they made. They feel like a complete and utter fool for not choosing you when they could have chosen you. This person, when I say they change, like I said, take it how it resonates. If it don't resonate, don't take it. You may not want this person back. It might have been too far. And if this is, you know, I'm getting masculine energy. So this, if this is a masculine coming back into a feminist energy. One thing I I know for certain is women, when we get fed up, fed up, fed up, fed up, and we have given you every which way chance, if we finally move on, because this could be a new man coming into your life, that old man don't stand a chance. They don't, because when we walk away, we cut them cold-blooded, done, detached. And it's something men can't typically handle well when it comes to a woman they they claim to love us but then don't treat us right right so this is going to be a lesson for him to treat the person that he actually loves right and let go of all the things that distract him to that love because that love is the happy space that love is lucky and blessed for them like i felt like this person realized oh when i had this person in my life Things went very well. I was successful. I was heading in the right direction. Things were blossoming, opening up for me. Now where I'm at, I feel stupid. I feel like, wow, you know, I feel um, 
challenged. I feel stagnant. I feel like I was carrying too many baggage, you know, too much baggage. Now your person has to work on their confidence to get that strength up to do what they need to do. But the lesson? Oh, no, they got the lesson. They got the lesson. Maybe a reluctant lesson, but they got it. They, your person... I can't make this up. This person is on the verge of surprising you with communication because they're working on their confidence. I don't feel like, I feel like this was a long journey for you. You may have gone through several cycles with them, but you may not have. And whatever the case may be, this person is like, hold on. I knew you were my person, but I was emotionally unavailable. Now I want to do what it takes. You know what I'm hearing? Music Soul Child uh, song, Teach Me How to Love. I feel like this is where your person's heading. Look those lyrics up. Teach Me How to Love. This is where they're at now. You know what I mean? They want they want that lesson of love. They want that victory with you. They don't want to detach from you. They don't want that trauma bond bull, bull no more. They want a real thing with you. And they said, teach me how to love. Wow. So that's your reading. You know, um, again, the choice is yours, but this is what your person um, is asking. They want you to teach them how to love. They don't want to lose. They're tired of losing. I feel it. Like I'm literally rubbing my head right now because I feel like your person's all in their feelings. Like I can't lose this. I can't. I can't not win with my person. And, and if I got to ask them how to love, because I also feel like your person has been talking to lots of people. Maybe you know, when I say lots, more than one probably is a big deal for them, right? But if they've been seeking advice, maybe from elders, somebody that are happy or, you know, somebody they think know what love is, they've been asking about you, how to come and love you. I, they might not say your name. That person may not know, may or may not know you. I don't think they even care. I think they just need to know how can they win with you. So I hope this helps, you know, again, you well, know, you have to take it. If it's not for you, it's not your story. You'll know through this person's actions. This is not going to be all words. This is, this, this will, the words, what, what I will say with this before I close out is that their words will now match their action. So you won't be confused like, is this my guy or is it not my guy? Because when this person shows up, they're going to show you with their action what they mean. They're not, they're going to say it and they're going to do it. This is not going to be a, well, you know, can we just work on this thing and then put you back in the same? That's not the person I'm talking about. So, all right, y'all. Um, take it how it resonates. Thank you for coming to my channel. Please remember to like, click, share, and subscribe. Um, comment in the comment section. Let me know if it resonates with you again. Or just say hi. I appreciate that as well. Check out my TikTok, Clarity Empress. And note that um, when you look at those readings, those readings do correspond with other readings from here now. Because I'm starting to expand on that. All right. So today is March 21st, the first day of spring. Full, full day of spring, I think. Or maybe yesterday. Anyway, it is moon in Aries. Spring is here. We're now in Aries season. So when you hear this reading, that's where we are right now. But it could be timeless because it could apply to your life. So don't worry about the time. Anyway, peace.